Perfecto muchachos Estamos aquí frente al que escriben como el mejor juego de plataformas del 2019 Ustedes dirán, es el 2020 Yo les diré, muchachos, enero no se acaba todavía, así que supérenlo Vamos a ver qué tal nos va Espero que esté sonando bien porque... Porque no sé por qué no escucho pero bueno, va a volver a empezar la grabación para descartar cualquier cosa maluca y regreso en un segundo, muchachos. Pero ya hice la presentación de todas formas, así que la voy a dejar y nos vemos en un segundo. Ojalá. Bueno, al parecer sí tenía razón yo. Y estamos ahora pues con sonidito, ¿no? Ustedes dirán, se escucha muy duro, se escucha muy pasito. Pues espero que se escuche perfecto porque eh, ya lo tengo así cuadrado. Vamos a ver, empezar nueva partida, muchachos. No hay datos guardados. Evidentemente no he jugado absolutamente nada. Voy a probar el juego con ustedes. Vamos a ver qué tal está. Vamos a ver qué tal nos devolvemos. Vamos a ver qué tan difícil está. Porque he visto videos y se ve muy, muy interesante. Se ve muy, muy divertido. Y, pues nada, es el mejor juego de plataformas del 2019, muchachos. El 2019 terminó hace 28 días. Así que estamos frente a un juego que promete ser una fucking maravilla. Me da parecer es un robot Nos están construyendo O estamos construyendo algo O simplemente se está construyendo algo Y ahora Es nuestra skin de Minecraft Horacio Hombre 2.0 Creo que es Horacio, ¿no? Que llegamos a donde sería nuestro nuevo hogar, donde estaría nuestro dueño, supongo yo. Y listo, vamos a ver qué sucede. Ok. Estamos aprendiendo los controles básicos, muchachos. Tampoco es tan, tan nuevo. Tenemos aquí las flechas para movernos. The first people I remember seeing were the old man, the old lady, and their daughter, Heather. After they'd said hello, the old man powered me down so he could install some software. I could tell they were nice people. The old man didn't give me a silly voice or stupid personality. And the old lady didn't dress me like a clown. Although for some reason, Heather really didn't like me. Once I'd had time to get used to walking, the old man asked me to dash from one end of the room to the other. Ok, yo cambié los controles porque era correr con X, pero yo le puse correr con Shift, que, que vamos, que es lo más Next, lógico. The old man spent a couple of hours building some wooden platforms. He said he wanted me to jump up them, but I must admit. I was scared. It wasn't until I saw Heather and her mother happily climbing up them that I decided it might be okay. Bueno, también le cambié el de saltar, lo cambié por espacio porque te cagas. Huh, 
perfecto. Supone que es un juego hecho por gamers para gamers. He told me to try to reach the other end of the room without touching the floor. Heather said, the floors made it louder. But when I smiled at her, she just frowned and looked away. <laughs> the old lady arranged some pillows and blankets. She said it was in case I fell, but I think she just wanted it to look more like lava. A ver, esto es obviamente el, el tutorial, muchachos. Y como en todo juego, pues tenemos que pasarlo. Uh, sencillo. The side, the old man just smiled and said, "That'll do for now." For now. Capítulo 1 aprendiendo a caminar. Hey. Uy, joder Está como muy alto el micrófono, ¿no? ¿O es mi impresión? Ah, no, no, fue solo por el por los aplausos Porque para la voz está bien, creo Estoy hablando para probar kind of stared at me. He had lived with the old man for five years. The house was so huge they barely saw each other. He preferred instead to stay in his room, leaving everything up to his butler, Mr. Deck, as he insisted everyone call him, although the professor always called him Adam. For a while, he called me the yellow bastard, but the old man made him stop, as he thought it sounded racist. Mr. Silton was the old man's driver. Before he worked here he'd gotten in with some bad people and was the driver in the post office robbery, although it all went wrong for some reason. Mr. Silton showed me a video of his band. I'm sure some people must like it, but I just found it. Hi, hi. Terrifying. <laughs> Then there was Alice. She was the cook. She was a nice old lady. When she was younger, she had been a TV chef. Then, years later, she had a small part in Coronation Street. Mr. Silton said, before she worked for the old man, Alice was quite a hoarder. She kept old newspapers and bicycles. And something about a pool in a shoebox. Algo de una caca en una caja de zapatos? The next morning, the old man gathered everyone together, to show them what I was capable of. What else does he do? asked Mr. Silton. The old man smiled. He can help around the house. Could he help me with my newspaper collecting? asked Alice. I'm not sure that's a good idea, said the old lady, but he can do all sorts of jobs. Yeah, said Mr. Silton, shove a stick up his ass and he can do Dick's <laughs> job. Now, now, said the old man, we have company, pointing to some important looking people. Two large men, both called Gary, set up what the old man referred to as lasers. He said again, I should try to get from one end of the room to the other, but I shouldn't be worried, as I had a special chip which meant no matter how damaged I was, I couldn't die. He said it was like infinite lies in a video game. But when he realized I didn't understand, he said he would explain another time. Okay. Uy. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Empezamos bien, muchachos. Y por bien me refiero a mal. Pero bueno. Solo fue un error del principio. Ya le tengo más o menos calculado el timing y continuamos. ¡Woohoo! Everybody clapped, except the important looking men. Not exactly a cold calculated killer, is it? said the man in black. The man in grey laughed. What kind of artificial intelligence was that? he asked. 
move right, unless there's something in the way. Okay, okay, said the old man. He turned to me and whispered, they're going to make it quite a bit tougher, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Ok, me lo van a complicar, pero soy el Tails, muchachos. Bueno. Uh, ¿Cómo lo supusiste? Pues, poco de sentido como muy muchachos. Pues supongo que tengo que agacharme, no estoy muy seguro, pero yo lo hago. Por si las moscas. Vale, seguimos con este especie de tutorial. ¡Nya! ¡Nya! Perfecto. ¡Ey! ¡Uy! Perfecto. Lo llevamos bien, muchachos. Complicado a nosotros. Si somos el TJ-090. The garage then rearranged the room one last time. The old man smiled. Now, now, there's no need to look so glum, he said. I'm still happy with everything you've done today. So this time, I was determined to do him proud. A ver. Vamos a hacer que el anciano esté orgulloso de nosotros, muchachos. Maldita sea. Perfecto. Me están escribiendo al celular. Dirán, ¿ese es su, ¿este es tu tono de, de celular? Evidentemente. Vamos a bajarle un tal. Y ya. Mm. Ah, perfecto. Huh, perfecto. Huh, perfecto. Huh, mierda. Y perfecto. <ríe> oh, okay. Tampoco está complicado. Soy el T, no Por Dios. Por Dios. Joder. Bien. Se ve que va a ser un juego con el que voy a sufrir bastante. Me gusta como toda la historia que hay detrás, ¿no? Es como... ¡buah! La señora que es chef, el, el mayordomo que trata mal al robotcito, toda la cosa, es como... Bueno. Se tomaron bastante dedicación los que crearon el juego de crear también la historia que nos querían contar de cada quien. Y eso me agrada. We might have a winner after all, said the man in black. It's no kill bot 3000, but you can almost see the fire in its eyes. A couple of days later, the old lady said she had a surprise for me. My own room. She also wanted to play me some music. I wasn't sure after what Mr. Silton had shown me. Mierda. Espero que no me echen bien los de derechos de autor. As if music wasn't amazing enough, the old lady then bought me a television set. I couldn't believe what I saw. I watched everything I could. Comedy, drama, horror, sci-fi. Anything anyone wanted to watch, I would happily watch with them. Then one day, the old man set up a small box. He plugged some cables into the television and said, this is what I meant when I said video games. <laughs> I played games at every chance I could. I took on everyone. I was unstoppable. I had enjoyed music, film, and television. But to me, video games really were the highest art form. Maravillos. Ahí está la historia de nuestras vidas, los gamers. Table Tennis for Two. A ver, vamos a darle a ver qué pasa. Eh, no sé qué le tengo que oprimir. Ah, X es Shift. <coughs> vale. Fu. Esto era mejor con una palanca. Todavía hay que decirlo. Perfecto. A 
ver. Perfecto, muchachos, lo conseguimos a la primera. El juego está muy, muy cool. And arranged a day up by the sea, so that Heather could take some photos, although I really don't think she wanted any pictures of me. When the old man asked the professor if he wanted to go, he frowned and said, I can't believe you want to spend time with that thing, it could destroy the world. I wasn't sure what he meant, but the old man just smiled and said, that's what you said about the Game Boy. Anton, <laughs> how about you? I don't think so. Said Mr. Deck. The last time I got in that car, Barry crashed us into a branch at Woolworths. I never would have gone into Woolworths of my own accord. The old man explained that the car was old and the brakes had failed, but Mr. Deck was having none of it. So Mr. Silton drove, and Alice came along for the fresh air. I enjoyed being outside. Although, the old lady kept telling me to be careful of the rickety old walkways. It felt like she was telling me off, but I think she was just concerned. Okay, puede que aquí llegue como el... el... el nudo? Del... As the old man and I de lo que va a pasar el conflicto, tops, quizá? I could see something in the distance. I wasn't sure what it was, so I asked the old man. He said it was a battleship that had sunk in the 1940s. But he looked so sad when he spoke about war. I didn't see what happened, but the metal platform Heather was climbing on had collapsed. She was safe, even if the rocks she was on looked very dangerous. The tide was rising, and we didn't know how long the Coast Guard was going to be. So I offered to climb down and get her. The old man agreed, but said I should be careful, as Heather doesn't have infinite lives, like I do. Vale, vamos a ver. Vamos a demostrar nuestra valía, muchachos. Woohoo! Woohoo! Soy el Tellez, ¡Ah! Soy el Tellez, decía. Y soy. El punto es boy de la Pradera City. Ay, pero, pero por favor, es, es complicadillo. Cuando dije yo que nos iba a hacer sufrir bastante. Bueno, me iba a hacer sufrir a mí porque. ¿Quién sabe si haga sufrir a las dos personas que me ven? Ay, la chimba, no, pero es que preciso le pegó al puto cable. Dios mío, perdón. Perdón por lo de la chimba. ¡Ah! No es por aquí. Te dirán, ¿por qué hace siempre ruidos extraños? Porque así me concentro mejor, muchachos. Te voy a hacer como mi episodio piloto. Y de gustar, lo pues haré directo. Creo que todo más haré directo. Heather was unconscious, and her leg was broken, so I picked her up as gently as I could. I decided it would be best if I didn't run the rest of the way. Bye. Ah! Uy, Dios mío, dije la cagué. Se murió la china. Mira, que soy racista porque la dejé morir. Vamos por aquí. Vamos acá. Uh -huh. Aquí a este lado. ¡No te vas a Ay, no me jodas. Bueno, 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 bueno. Que parecía un jueguito muy. ¿Me entiendes? Lo, lo, pasa, lo pasa cualquiera. No, esto lo pasa el Telles escasamente, muchachos. Escasamente lo pasa el Telles. Vamos a ver. Vamos a calcular. Bien, ahí. ¡Pues! ¡Oh! Es un cálculo. Pero. Perfecto que a mierda. ¡Pues! Perfecto otra vez. Y seguimos por aquí y logramos salvar a la niña. 
We all went to see how she was doing. She was fine. But would have to wear the cast for a couple of months. Me sonrió. Perfecto, muchachos. Conseguimos hacernos amigos de la morenita. Somos un, un, un héroe, muchachos. Hay que decirlo, nos lo dicen ahí. Somos un fucking héroe. Creo que voy a usar esa imagen de, del periódico diciendo que soy un héroe. Para... Para las... Miniaturas de los directos Dirán, ¿por qué no te toman fotos y hacen miniaturas con todo el que... Uf, la verdad me da un poquito de... Once Heather got to know me, we became good friends We enjoyed the same films and TV She was also annoyingly good at some of my favorite games After a while, she became very interested in how I worked Soon she knew as much about me as the old man did If not more We spent the next couple of months visiting other countries, as when it came to teaching me things, the old man always liked to pick interesting locations. He had explained the basics of mathematics to me at the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Taught me history in the dead of night, surrounded by mysterious giant stones. And even showed me science in action high up in a hot air balloon. <laughs> This is why I was surprised when the old man took me to a restaurant. It was nice, but it seemed very somber compared to the previous grand locations. He said he just wanted to chat, and this was nice and quiet. Plus it was his favorite place to eat. We talked about life, the universe, Douglas Adams, everything really. When I asked him why were we here, why did we exist, He just smiled and said, life is like a game, just don't expect to be finished anytime soon. When I looked puzzled, he said, well, everyone should have a purpose. So I asked him, what's my purpose? He thought for a bit, then said, so you want to be a real boy? Which <laughs> just confused me even more. Eventually the old man said, for now, I want you to help clean things around the house. I must have looked unimpressed. As he then said, Okay, I want you to clean one million things. It didn't sound like the meaning of life, <laughs> but I suppose you've got to start somewhere. <laughs> o sea, nos tiene de, de empleado el huevón. Descubriendo mi propósito. Me gusta. Muy, muy interesante, me gusta, me like. The next day, the old man said he wanted to install some more software, so he powered me down. When I came to, he said Mr. Silton had a joke for me, and that I should pull his finger. I don't think I got the joke. So the old man powered me down again. <laughs> This time when I pulled Mr. Silton's finger, I got the joke. But it wasn't very funny. The old man then explained that he had installed a special chip which allowed me to clean away anything that was broken. He said it also tells me how many things are nearby, and how many smaller things are in a bigger thing. It all sounded very complicated, but he said all I really had to do was pause, and it would bring up all the information I needed. He then said he wanted me to find and clean all of the items in the room. He told me there would be some chains to climb, but that would be nice and easy, as I just had to press up. He then finished by saying, when I had collected all the items, I should come back here. Ok, seguimos con tutoriales muchachos, esto sí es... Sigue siendo parte de tutoriales, pero no pasa nada. Oh, eh. Ok, 
Vamos a subir esto, no puede ser tan complicado. Perfecto. Perfectísimo. Supongo que esto sería haciendo tutorial. No creo que el objetivo final sea limpiar. Bueno, vaya, que si sí es limpiar. Mierda. No puedo volver. Ah, bueno, sí puedo volver aquí. No sé por qué la niña parece que se seguirá escondiendo. Se supone que ya somos amigos. Vale. Entendemos cómo funciona esto. Tampoco es mayor misterio. Perfecto. Joder. Joder. Uy. Vale, decía que si lo oprimía aquí, me decía... Cachivaches aquí, cachivaches recogidos Ok A ver si nos encontramos más cositas por este lado Y ya, parece que lo tenemos muchachos A ver si seguimos avanzando Está cool, pero el tutorial está bastante largo Todo hay que decirlo eh, Dice que faltan Cinco cachivaches A ver, ¿qué falta? Y lo más importante, ¿dónde faltan? Mm, por aquí no es por aquí tampoco sería Por ahí arribita tampoco Vaya por Dios eh... Pensé que el balón de básquetbol ese sería Pero tampoco parece ser A ver Pensé que la resurrección es de Lázaro Cachivaches recogidos 1557 eh, Capítulo 2 Entre muchas otras cosas El anciano me mostró mi propósito en la vida Cachivaches aquí 5 A ver, ¿dónde están los pinches cachivaches de los cojones? Que no los veo Que ya supuestamente limpié todo Ay, aquí Cochinada, tocado el versito. Perfecto, vámonos. Vámonos. The old man then asked the old lady Heather and I to follow him outside. I was happy too, as it was a lovely hot day. The old man said he was worried that Alice had been calling again. She had filled up a small barn with old bicycles and newspapers. Heather said, this would be a perfect chance to properly test my new powers. The old man thought for a second, then said, using the steptoe chip, I should find and clean, at least 300 things. When we explained to Alice what we wanted to do, she seemed scared. But after the old lady kindly explained that, well, <laughs> the barn was starting to smell. She said it would be okay. One last thing, said the old man. If you want to use a door, just push up. When I was about to enter the old barn, Mr. Silton said he had seen some mushrooms growing inside. He asked me to give him any that I found. He then winked, but I wasn't sure why. Sé que todavía va a haber más tutorial, muchachos. Se dirán, ¿por qué? Porque supone que tendremos más poderes que será de un escudo y tener binoculares. Entonces, para el siguiente episodio haremos un directo. 
ya si nos mamaremos el tutorial, bueno, la parte esta del principio con más tranquilidad. Voy a dejarle un poquito la música porque me está dejando sordo la malparida. Y bueno, creo que de todas formas me van a... Me van a demandar, bueno, me van a demandar, no, sino me van a poner el, el tema este de los derechos de autor, porque supongo que toda esa música tiene derechos de autor. ¡Ay, joder! Eh, aquí, supongo. Perfecto. Vale, ponemos toda la basura. Seguimos por aquí, entramos. Y saltamos Uy Que lo conseguí de chepa <risas> Igualmente de chepa Y no de cheport A ver Toda la chatarra eliminada Bien, perfecto Supongo que esto será como un plus O será por habitaciones Ah Aleluya, 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 aleluya. Perfecto, por aquí, por aquí. Por aquí. Mierda. Mierdísima. Vale. Fin. Listo. Seguimos. ¿Dónde más ahora? No entré a esta habitación yo Bien, cogemos todo Y las setas, que el man nos pidió Nos pidió hongos muchachos Nos pidió hongos el señor Que vaya, todos sabemos Para qué quiere hongos el hombre Perfecto Y aquí volvemos a bajar Volvemos a entrar que nos faltó esto Y nos vamos, supongo yo que ya estuvo. The old man was very happy with everything that I had cleaned. But I think Mr. Silton was even more happy with his mushroom. <risa> Todos sabemos para qué quieres los hongos, hijo. Llegó otoño, muchachos. Llegó otoño otra vez. It wasn't the days getting shorter, or the evenings getting colder. It was the falling leaves that really made me feel sad. As we watched the trees blowing in the breeze, the old lady said, the leaves must fall before the blossom comes. She had already explained the seasons to me, so for once, I actually understood. But it didn't make me feel any better. The old lady obviously heard enough of my moping, and said, Right, next week we're going to have a party. For some reason she insisted that we were all going to wear costumes. Heather was very excited and said, I've got some perfect ideas. Yo voy a ir a a Rod. Halloween, muchachos. Perfecto. Si está en Halloween, aún mejor. 7 pm hasta quién sabe qué hora. It was terrifying. Everyone was dressed like someone else. I think I was meant to be some Pero lo vamos a dejar aquí, muchachos. Espero que les haya gustado. Si les fue, no me gusta comentar lo compartan, no se les agradezco un montón. Eh, um, si alguno. Quiere que lo suba en directo, por favor escriba un mensaje y lo subiré lo más pronto posible, muchachos. Se les quiere y nos vemos cuando nos veamos. ¡Chao! Joder, siempre lo hago a destiempo. Ahora sí, ¡chao!